everyone. Today I'm going to talk about QQ plot. It is a very important statistical method to check the normality of data. Engineers and scientists work with data. Without data, they are not able to draw any conclusion. Now is the era of creation of data every day from every aspects of our lives. Some data are random and some are biased. Some may suffer from bias because of the data collection process. One very important aspect of data is the distribution profile. The collected data may have normal distribution or may be far from normal. It may also be skewed one either side or may follow multimodal pattern. It may be discrete or may be continuous. For continuous data, normal distribution brings a whole lot of advantages compared to its counterparts. Various inferential statistical process assume that the distribution is normal. A bell-shaped curve is easy to describe with mean and standard deviation. Since normal distribution is of so much importance, we need to check if the collected data is normal or not. Here, we will demonstrate the QQ plot to check the normality of skewness of data. Q stands for quantile and therefore. Therefore, QQ plot represents quantile quantile plot. To determine the normality, there are also several statistical tests out there such as the Kolmogorov Smirnov test and the Shapiro Wilk test. The scope of this article is only QQ plot. We now know QQ plot as quantile quantile plot but what is quantile at the first place? When the whole data is sorted, 50th quantile means 50% of the data falls below that point and 50% of the data falls above that point. That is the median point. This is evident from the box plot. When we say first quantile, only 1% of the data falls below that point and 99% is above that. 25th and 75th quantile points are also known as quartiles. There are three quartiles as the dataset. Q1 is the first quartile or 25th quantile. Q2 is the second quartile or 50th quantile. Q3 is the third quartile or 75th quantile. The x-axis of a QQ plot represents the quantiles of standard normal distribution. Let's say we have a normal data and we want to standardize it. Standardizing means subtracting mean from each data point and dividing it by standard deviation. The resultant is also known as z-score. Let's sort those z-scores and plot again. The plot below shows that the x-axis is now centered at zero and extended up to three standard deviations on each side. Statistically, 99.7 and of the data falls between this range. Once we obtain the values to plot along x-axis, we then need to apply the same method for our data of interest. Therefore, we will plot the z-scores of out data against the z-scores of the standard normal data. If our data is normal, the plot will be a straight line since we are plotting very close values against each other. If the data is not normally distributed, the line will deviate from the straight track and signal different scenarios.
For example, if the data is skewed on high side, we will obtain a QQ plot deviated from straight line. If the data exhibits bimodality, the QQ plot will signal that too. QQ plot is an extremely useful tool to determine the normality of the data or how much the data is deviated from normality. This plot represents the z-scores of standard normal distribution along x-axis and corresponding z-scores of the obtained data. Sometimes instead of z-score, the sample quantiles can also be plotted along y-axis.